Hello, my name is Mr McCarthy, and I'm the leader of religious formation here at St Bede's Catholic College. I would like to welcome you to this virtual tour and give you an opportunity to understand what your son or daughter will be studying with us in religious formation across the different key stages. Firstly, at St Bede's we are a community of faith and learning. We believe that each person is created in the image and likeness of God, as we are all called to live in a relationship with him. Religious formation aims to provoke challenging questions about the meaning and purpose of life, beliefs about God and nature of reality, contemporary moral and ethical issues, and what it means to believe. It develops students' understanding of the world's major faiths, as well as understanding the reasons and rationale behind people choosing not to follow a religion. Our subject enables pupils to understand the teachings of the Roman Catholic Church and helps pupils to know God and recognise his presence in their lives. Religious formation promotes an atmosphere of mutual respect and tolerance in ever-expanding diverse society. It requires all our students to be critical thinkers and demands academic rigour in evaluation and analysis of belief and moral issues. Our subject provides opportunities for personal reflection, a deepening understanding of the significance of their own faith and other religions, and enables students to ask philosophical questions to seek answers to the important questions in life. Religious education is the core of the core curriculum in a Catholic school, as Pope John Paul II rightly recognised. Placing RE at the core of the curriculum in Catholic schools helps us to fulfil our mission to educate the whole person in discerning the meaning of their existence. We want all our young people to be religiously literate, to reflect spiritually, think ethically and theologically, deepen their own faith and to be able to communicate this effectively. Teachers and religious formation department deliver a high quality learning experience for all pupils in different key stages and ensure that beyond academic achievement, pupils are given the opportunity to grow in faith. It is our philosophy that religious formation is at the heart of the college and we should endeavour to foster an inclusive environment with the aim of ensuring that pupils are inspired and engaged in their studies and make effective progress in their learning. At Key Stage 3, the curriculum has been broadly designed on the People of God programme and is mapped against the Religious Education Curriculum Directory. The curriculum is designed to develop pupils skills appropriate for their age, so as to ensure that pupils grow an understanding of their own faith and other religions. In Year 7, 8 and 9, pupils study the five main world religions in order to provide all of them with a coherent understanding of the communities in which they live and beyond. All our pupils should be able to recognise that they live in a multi-faith society and consequently have a greater understanding and respect of different faiths and cultures in the world they live in. Our lessons are intended to be highly engaging and promote debate, allowing pupils to discover more about their own faith whilst recognising that there are other religions who believe different things and people who have no religion at all. Our schemes of work within this key stage have been carefully designed to promote an environment where pupils are encouraged to explore their own faith as well as show an understanding of secular ideals as this will give them the necessary skills to prepare them for Key Stage 4. At Key Stage 4, the curriculum design is underpinned by the Edexile Catholic GCSE specification, Specification A. The curriculum is intended to introduce students to Catholic teaching and values and the study of Judaism as a second religion. The third day of the GCSE explores philosophy and ethics through a range of different beliefs, including Catholic, atheist and humanist views. Our schemes of work build upon the knowledge, understanding and skills that students acquired in their Key Stage 3 lessons. At Key Stage 4, pupils are allocated five hours of teaching time a fortnight. Units of work provide pupils with the opportunity to gain an in-depth knowledge of the Catholic faith through beliefs and teachings, as well as in Judaism and philosophy and ethics. As in Key Stage 3, Lessons are well planned and is challenging for all pupils. Formative assessment is used by the faculty to gain a good understanding of how pupils are progressing and to provide feedback for pupils to improve in their learning in a timely manner. 
there is a greater use of summative assessment at Key Stage 4. At the end of each unit of study, pupils will sit an end of unit test linked to the GCSE examination, graded 9 to 1. This allows us to assess pupils' knowledge and understanding of the topic, as well as providing pupils the opportunities to practice and enhance their understanding. By the end of Key Stage 4, pupils will have a secure understanding of the Catholic faith, Judaism as a second religion, and be able to articulate different points of view and have the necessary skills to go on to study the subject at A-level, should they so wish. In Year 7, pupils also study philosophy one hour fortnight. There is no assessment in this subject, and this subject is taught by all teachers in the Religious Formation Faculty. Teaching philosophy to our pupils has been shown to sharpen reasoning and communication skills. Moreover, students who engage in philosophical thinking are better able to grapple with concepts that might otherwise be beyond their grasp and are able to think critically and coherently. And some of the topics that they will study include animal welfare, types of government, what makes us who we are, beauty, life after death, and free will. As a faculty, we are extremely proud of our pupils' progress and attainment in this subject. This is a result of the excellent teaching they receive and the high expectations we have. Our lessons are very well planned and there is a clear link between the quality of teaching and pupil outcomes. Our results are outstanding and one of the highest in our diocese. I'm extremely proud of all our pupils and know that they will receive excellent teaching as evidenced in the pupil outcomes you can see on this slide. For example, our most recent results in August this year show that just under 46% of pupils achieved either a grade 9, 8 or 7, compared to 27% of the national average. And again, as an example, in 2019, just under 50% of our year 11 cohort achieved a 9, 8 or 7, compared to the 24% national average. In our Section 48 report, it recognised that students' attainment and achievement in religious education is outstanding. It went on further to say that teachers are clearly committed to bringing about improvement across all outcomes, as demonstrated by the high standards being achieved across all levels of ability, irrespective of ability. There is no significant underachievement from any group of pupils, and I echo those words. We are an outstanding faculty, and we are proud of how pupils make excellent progress on our subject. The members of staff who will be teaching or working with your son or daughter over the next five years are myself as the leader of religious formation, Mr. Toffolo, Mrs. Lindsay, Mrs. Stokes, Mr. Sutton, Dr. Mora, Ms. Saban, and Mr. Lyde, our lay chaplain. As a Catholic school, we are the subject of a Section 48 inspection every five years, which not only looks at the quality of religious education, but also the prayer life of the school and opportunities we provide for pupils in their faith formation. You will see a number of comments taken from our most recent reports, and I am proud that we have rightly been recognised as an outstanding Catholic college. However, we are not complacent, and we always look to see how we can do things better. With such a strong faculty, I know that your child will enjoy learning more about their own faith and the different religions of the world. In our most recent monitoring visit in April 2018, the report rightly concluded that outcomes for students remain outstanding. And this includes not only academic achievement, but the prayer life of the school and their involvement in their faith formation. Students, it says, are extremely proud of their Catholic school and wholeheartedly embrace the many opportunities provided for all to grow in faith and gain a secure understanding of the impact of faith on their lives. And those are just some of the many outstanding comments we have received from the report. I do invite you to read the link which I've posted at the bottom of that respective PowerPoint slide. Religious formation is not only about academic progress, but the opportunities we provide for your son or daughter develop their own faith and understanding. For example, outside of the faculty, we provide opportunities for retreats in years 10 and 11 to Kintbury, 
and this is always oversubscribed. Last year, we took year eight and nine pupils to Rome, and this was well received. They enjoyed the papal audience and couldn't quite believe how close they were to the Holy Father. In year seven, for example, pupils explore the theme of belonging in the RF faculty with mass celebrated by our chaplain. For further information about all the other activities we offer, please see the chaplaincy PowerPoint, which Mr. Ladd, our lay chaplain, has put together. The RF faculty is at the heart of our school and goes beyond pupils' academic achievement. Our subject takes place within the wider Catholic faith community in partnership with home and parish. It is carefully designed to assist our young people to be increasingly able to make an informed and more mature response to God in faith and to nurture that faith. Thank you for listening. I hope you found this PowerPoint informative. I look forward to welcoming you to St. Pete's properly when we get the chance to do so.